Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about the colour of your phlegm and before I do that I just want to mention a booklet we've written called Phlegm After Eating which by the way includes the colour of your phlegm as well. Moving on to the colour of your phlegm and what it means for you. Well really it's fairly easy to understand the less colour there is uh, the more it tends to what's called cold the more colour there is the more it tends to what's called heat. Now when you go to your doctor with coloured phlegm, he probably tends to think in terms of bacteria or a virus causing an illness with a fever and you being ill and there are various medications, very powerful medications, which he would want to use. But ancient medicines have also looked at this and the colour itself can point to various things you can do about it to help yourself get better. So let me just go through them. Please don't use the phlegm that comes up or you cough up or hawk up first thing in the morning that's going to contain heat in it because you've been stewing it overnight. The less colour there is, in other words, the more it tends towards uh, clear or perhaps white, that means cold in your system. That means a lack of an inflammatory process, which tends to suggest that you need not go to your doctor. The more colour there is, the more it points towards your body producing heat in some way, which is pointing towards inflammation. Now, that again need not mean that you'd go to your doctor, but I'm just going to cover those two things first. So cold could come from, well, maybe you are out in the snow or a cold day or skiing or on your bicycle and you just got cold and your body produces that phlegm, colourless phlegm, because that's what it does in cold. So when you come indoors, you get warmed up, you wear more or maybe you eat or drink something warm, that will tend to dry up. On the other hand, if you get red or yellow or green phlegm, that means more heat in your system. Your body is trying to do something and it, in order to do it, it's heating your body up and that's producing this coloured phlegm. The more colour there is, especially if red, the more heat there is in your system. And that means that your body is producing this heat, which is an inflammatory process, which your body just naturally does to try and clear out the bug, burn it off as it were. But it could be from what's called a deficiency. In other words, your body's not able to cool itself down properly because of some metabolic problem. And so it's naturally producing a kind of heat and that also colours your phlegm towards green or yellow. So it's not necessarily a bug that causes the, the, the colour, but it may be. How would you know? Well, usually if it's an inflammation which is coming from a bug, then you will feel ill, you will have a fever, you will be feeling hot and cold, you're wanting to cover up or take clothes off or something, something different from normal. Whereas if it's an internal process not caused by a bug, you probably won't have much of that going on. Yes, you might be a bit more thirsty, but not a great deal more. Whereas if it's a bug, probably there's a fever, you're feeling ill, and that will take you to a doctor. However, there's lots you can do, even so. And there's some foods, for example, that you should eat, and not eat um, in the situation of heat. First of all, let's talk about when you're cold. Well, one thing that causes cold phlegm, in other words, the white clear stuff, is eating too much cold food. We've got a list of cold foods on a website. And one of the things that produces heat, and therefore red or colored, yellow or green phlegm, is eating too much heat foods, foods that cause heat. We've got a page on damp heat foods, for example. If you're eating too much damp heat type food, you will tend over time to get damp heat type phlegm, which will be coloured yellow or green. And that makes you more susceptible to catching bugs, believe it or not. Um, so in that situation, you should eat less of those kind of foods, the ones that cause damp and heat, and more of the foods that cool you down. Conversely, well, obviously the opposite. If you have too much cold phlegm, the white clear stuff, then it's sensible to eat more warming foods. And actually, you probably want to anyway. Um, as you realise uh, from looking at it, phlegm can be dilute, it can be runny, uh, it can be frothy. Uh, what do these mean? Well, for example, if it's sticky white stuff, what does that mean? Well, it usually suggests something called damp, rather more than uh, cold. Whereas if it's very dilute spit, that probably suggests cold is more likely to be the cause than damp. And if it's white and watery, um, and uh, frothy, well, that's something called phlegm fluids, which is a kind of mixture between damp and phlegm. Uh, pages on these subjects on our website. So if it's yellow or green, that points to heat. And if it's blood tinged, that points to 
even greater heat, which could be uh, something called the full kind or the empty kind. Too complicated to explain here, but it's in the booklet. So just summarizing, if it's clear, then it tends to be cold, and white is also fairly cold. If it's colored, that is yellow or green or uh, red, then that tends to produce heat, and your body's fighting to, to, to clear itself of something, and you would be better eating cooling foods and less heating foods. So I hope that's kind of helped you understand. But don't forget our booklet, which explains much more about this. And you can navigate through it and find out the causes uh, of your heat and the cold causing the different kinds of color. Okay, thanks for listening. Thank you.